Hi everyone. In this video, I just want to explain what happens to the marginal product of capital at a given capital labor ratio as the production function shifts up. So we've got it has our frame of reference right here, production function one. And so let's assume that the capital labor ratio is k over l for whatever reason. I just need a point at random to go ahead and illustrate things, which means we're at point a. As you recall from the earlier videos, the slope of the tangent line at point A is the marginal product of capital. So now we just want to ask ourselves, okay, what happens if there's an improvement in technology so the production function shifts up? And I'll go ahead and draw, actually, I'll draw it a little bit higher up here, and we'll go ahead and draw a relatively large shift because it'll help make this point. So I'll go ahead and draw the new production function from an improvement in technology, and it looks like this call that production function 2. Now let's draw the slope of the tangent line and call that, that's point B. So here the slope of the tangent line is that, here the slope of the tangent line is this. Now hopefully I drew it exaggerated enough that you can tell what's the relationship between the two marginal products of capital you should notice that the marginal product of capital at point A is greater than the marginal product of capital at point, um, or excuse me, at point B is greater than the marginal product of capital at point A, which makes perfect sense. Why? Because at this capital labor ratio, you've got a low level of technology, and you're at point A with um, this marginal product of capital, relatively flat one. Okay, so maybe I didn't draw this exaggerated enough as I can, but I think you can eyeball it that the slope of the tangent line at point A is flatter than it is at point B. Okay? Then there's an improvement in technology making all workers more productive at every um, level of output. Well, having more productive workers is also going to make um, your capital goods more productive, so it makes sense that the marginal product of capital at point B is going to be steeper. And if you can't see that, let me actually try to do it one more time to try to make it a little bit easier for you guys to go ahead and see. Yeah, so if I make that production function 2, okay, and then I say, hey, here's point B, and if I draw the tangent line in there, and boom, yeah, now you can really see it. So the slope of the tangent line at point B is right here. That's the slope. So it's clear in that case that the marginal product of capital at point B is greater than the marginal product of capital at point A. So as the production function shifts up, workers and capital goods are becoming more productive at every unit, uh, every level of output, which means, which means the marginal product of capital is increasing as the production function shifts up when you have a given level of the capital labor ratio down here. Okay, that's going to be an important point when we talk about the phenomenon of catch-up in a few, few videos.